the purpose of setting up the Youth Commission was really, really simple. I felt that young people needed to be able to express very clearly what they wanted of their police service and then for the police service to respond to those needs in a very direct and practical way. And we've seen since the Youth Commission was first set up a number of things that have um, started to emerge, practical things as a result of your work. So I am absolutely delighted to be here again tonight. I'm, I'll be even more delighted when I start seeing changes in the way that the police um, operate uh, as a consequence of your input and feedback. And my mind is really blown I, on the things that I've heard and the stories that people have, have opened up and, and delved into. I mean, we've been to colleges in Selby and York, etc., and really unpick complexities of mental health uh, and vulnerability because they are very complex topics. And then also, going to Scarborough recently uh, was really eye opening for me. Um, a lot of young males um, really really passionate um, have a lot of negative beliefs and attitudes towards police but actually in that workshop um, structured environment we were able to turn those negative beliefs and attitudes into really powerful solutions and ideas um, and you know realizing that actually they do want to build those positive relationships with the police and, and they are willing and, and that's a really nice step. So uh, from focusing on hate crime and talking to the young people we found there's a lack of clarity about what constitutes hate crime uh, a lot of young people feel they've had experiences uh, but they weren't serious enough necessarily to report. So we've been, for example, promoting Stop Hate UK as a online way to uh, report hate crime. Uh, we found a lot of hate crime has been around faith, race. Uh, we went and did a, a workshop with LGBTQ youth, which was really, really insightful. They had a lot of really good solutions. They obviously had a lot of experience, unfortunately, with hate crime. Um, provide drug awareness courses. I really like this one. Um, similar to speed awareness courses. So yeah, instead of you know getting a criminal record and being criminalised for uh, your drug taking or whatever, why don't you send young people um, on a course, you know, to educate them and uh, you know give them that information um, that they need. Um, a lot of young people said in workshops, "Oh God, wow, we've never had any information. Oh, I didn't know this drug did this." And, and so, yeah, that was really surprising and um, a really great solution from that. Um, so uh, I've learned that young people don't understand uh, what is classed as an abusive relationship, even when they're in them, um, and how to help friends when they recognise as an abusive relationship, but they just don't know what next steps to do. Many people felt that there's still a stigma and stereotype around mental health, especially with male vulnerability. Some perceive that the police don't fully understand or consider mental health when talking to young people? No. Um, the topic that I think is most important is relationships with the police and that's because young people genuinely do want to try and improve relationships but are never given a platform to try and test those kind of ideas and therefore I think that this commission can help the police to listen more about what young people want and together moving forward they can create those positive relationships. Mm -hmm.